Here's a short question in English. You want to go in? 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 Maybe when you're outside a restaurant with a friend and you are trying to decide if you're going to eat there, your friend might ask you, well, you want to go in? You want to go in? Originally, this question has six words. Some of them are missing and some of them have their sounds combined. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to clearly hear and understand this question. You want to go in? You want to go in? You want to go in? Let's study together. Welcome to another American English pronunciation lesson. I'm Michael from Happy English, and I'm so glad that you've decided to study English here with me today. And before we get to today's English point, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be live here on YouTube every Monday in December at 7.30 a.m. New York time. That's right live here on YouTube every Monday morning this month. I hope to see you there. The key point for this lesson is the tiny W. Do you know about the tiny W? The tiny W happens when one word ends with an O sound and the next word begins with another vowel sound. Go in. Now, if you pronounce go and in without stopping the sound, there is a little tiny w that appears between go and in. Go in. Go in. And that little w happens because of the movement and the shape of your mouth as you go from the o sound to the i sound of in. Go in becomes go in. Let's 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 go in. And not let's go in. Can you hear the difference? Let's go in. Let's go in. The first one is much, much smoother because the sound and the flow of air coming out of my mouth doesn't stop. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. No, I'm not. 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 So we've already mentioned before that I'm is usually pronounced as um in everyday conversation. I'm ready. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm hungry. No, I'm not. Just like go in sounds like go in. No, I'm not sounds like no, I'm not. And you hear again that tiny W sound that happens when the O sound of no connects or blends with the ah sound of am. No, I'm not. Let's go in. No, I'm not. The radio is on the shelf. Did you hear it? Radio is. And not radio is. Just like go in and no, I'm. Radio is. The O sound at the end of radio connects with a tiny W to the I sound of is. Radio is. The radio is on the shelf. Let's go in. No, I'm not. So that's the basic idea of how the tiny W sound happens. And now let's go back to that question from the beginning of the lesson. You want to go in? Can you hear it? You want to go in? 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 Wanna is the usual pronunciation of want to. Want to go in? Want to go in? You want to go in? If we write down this sentence as a completely grammatically correct sentence, do you want to go in? 
Those are the six words that I was talking about. But what happens quite often in spoken English, especially spoken American English, is that when a question begins with do you, the auxiliary verb do is dropped altogether. And you, as we've mentioned before, is generally unstressed and pronounced as ya. Do you like it? Is usually pronounced as you like it because the do is dropped. You like it? You want it? You know what I mean? You want to go in? Can you hear it now? You want to go in? Do you want to go in? You want to go in? Let's practice together. You want to go in? 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 Keep in mind that pronunciation is half listening and half doing. So be sure to watch this video a couple of times to get these sounds of English in your ears. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember to leave your comment below. And I'll catch you next time right here at Happy English. Catch you later.